I'm Ali Bruscato. I'm the photo editor here at District and I write the column I'm booked and today I'm going to be giving a tour of my personal bookshelf because I just got a second one thanks to my mom because this is my childhood bookshelf that you see behind me and it was it was not cutting it and she was so kind enough to get me a new one so now I'm gonna give you a tour of my two bookshelves and still this doesn't have all the books that I own unfortunately because I do have some down at school but this can give you an idea of some of the books that I own how I organize them and all that all right let's get into it I hope you enjoy this up close and personal shot um I'm gonna start here at the OG bookshelf not gonna give away the new bookshelf yet um this is what I've had since I was a youngling so as you can see the top shelf is color coordinated i love color coordination i color coordinate my closet I've gotta color coordinate the books it just looks, looks so beautiful and then on the next shelf we have series and i don't read a lot of series so honestly a lot of these are from my youth we got the hunger game series oh should i put that comment down below should I put the prequel to the Hunger Games with the other ones? I don't think it's the same size, so I think that might be weird. I'm testing it right now. It is the same! Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Wow. Reorganizing my bookshelf live today. So we have series on the second shelf here. So we have the Hunger Games series. Oh, the Chronicles of Narnia. Big fan. The Spy- wait, right? The Chronicles of Narnia and the spider Egg Chronicles? That's kind of funny. I love these books as a child. And then, very different vibe, The Two Handmaid's Tales. Um, the Handmaid's Tale and The Testaments. Love those books. Margaret Atwood is one of my favorite authors. So that's what we got going on. I recommend series down below as well because I don't read a lot of series. I think it's a bit of a commitment and I don't know if I'm ready for something like that, but you never know. And then on this final row here, it's really none of your business because <laughs> these are all of my journals from once again my youth and my to read uh pile which right now give you a sneak peek i just got this book the other day six walks in the footsteps of henry david thoreau because i did where is is walden here but anyway i read walden recently by henry david thoreau and i recently visited walden pond and Concord in general, where a lot of the transcendentalist authors lived. And it was lit, the book itself, boring. But we'll save that for another time. But I am, I do, I do love nature and I do love the idea. I think it's just the style of writing at the time was different. But I'm interested to see how this is. And Take My Hand, a historical fiction that my aunt recommended for me. And this is her copy, so yeah. Those are my two reads right now. On this bottom shelf, I have sort of my like coffee table books including this giant Obama and intimate portrait, um, a lot of photos um, from Pete Souza, fellow Portuguese photographer, a lot of great stuff here. And I'm excited for when like I have my own place and I can put this out for the world to see. And this is from my theater phase in middle school, the Hamilton book that has all the stuff from the from the play. Now let's take a bit of an in-depth look at this top shelf here. I'll sort of just go through like each color and say like my favorite of each. Oh, we have sort of like red, orange, all sort of clumped together. Oh, this is an interesting one to talk about. So Killers of the Flower Moon, I think I did a review of this already. Check it out at Scab District. But this is being turned into a movie. We'll see how that is. It should be coming out later later this year i think in november or something i keep seeing the trailers for it okay continuing on i reviewed a lot of these books already in yellow oh this one i just finished recently called the right call it's by sally jenkins who's a new york times bestselling author she worked for i think the washington post and a few other newspapers and publications as a sports author and she's written a few different books and i really enjoy this it's about like what sports teach us and she talks about a bunch of different athletes from a bunch of different sports and how like the lessons that they've learned can help you in your daily life. 
and it's not like too preachy but it's like just super interesting and a lot of cool stories about like people that you know we're going into the blues as you can see i stop at blue here spoiler alert for the other bookshelf that's where the purples and pinks continue uh, this is my um fault in our stars and i read this in middle school like we all did and I think I like had it in my book bag with water or something. So this one's, I try to take good care of my books. I was in middle school and this is, but still, it, it's, it's a good book. Okay, I'm like selfie sticking it with this shot. Just to show you briefly, basically on this, I just have pictures and things like flags and sports balls and things that will mean nothing to you. So we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for the big reveal of my new bookshelf. You can't even see it. Okay, let's talk about her. We're gonna go top down here. On this top shelf, we have my current top 10 favorite books. I don't have them all with me, but this, this, is a lot of amazing books and right these are a lot of amazing books right but ah. okay we're gonna go from 10 to 1 you know for the anticipation of it all so coming in at number 10 immediate family i reviewed that i read it last summer go check it out i reviewed this one too the most fun we ever had i really like that book just thinking about it i got emotional again just getting so caught up in those characters i reviewed it go look silver linings playbook oh solid book Solid movie. On Earth are briefly gorgeous, beautiful writing. Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. Amazing, like I'm not even like Trevor Noah, like I don't watch The Daily Show, right? I think that's what he does. I don't watch that. Good book. I haven't, I read that a long time ago though at this point, so I don't know. Becoming by Michelle Obama. Again, just great autobiography. Jurassic Park, classic classic an absolute classic reviewed it for sure i remember doing that just mercy by brian stevenson i will recommend this to every person i know so important really influenced me and changed my way of thinking fellowship point i talked about as my favorite book of last summer so good every time i think about the ending it brings a tear to my eye and of course number one what has been and may forever will be no way that was correct grammar may forever Anyway, Little Women by Louise May Alcott. On the side, I'm gonna put some pictures of me at Louise May Alcott's house because that's what I did this summer. So that's what we got on top shelf, along with a beautiful fall candle. And I am a photo major. So here is a film camera that was once my grandfather's, but no longer works. This is where all the pinks and purples went. I thought they just looked gorgeous together. So that's how I decided to organize them. So this is really just by color, lots of random books here. Um, to highlight a few, we have two sort of versions of Little Women. This one is a French version uh, that my parents got for me when they were in France. And this one is Good Wives, which is like the second half of Little Women, which I did not know when I bought it, but it's gorgeous. I got it at E Shaver Booksellers, shout out, local bookstore in Savannah. Uh, what you can see from here, I reviewed it last summer. It was in my top, top few books of the summer. As well as Two Nights in Lisbon, I wrote a review about, uh, I'm Portuguese, so that was super, super exciting. And another Margaret Atwood book, again, slay author. And then on the side here, we got a Grand Canyon candle, which is scrumptious, as well as, my boy Art to be and this frog that I got at the dollar store a while back. And you know, we got that Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift moment. All right, let's continue down. We have sort of like tan and white once again, big color fan. Um, and I love the simplicity of it. And I'm trying to change out like the way I organize different stuff so that it keeps it a little different, a little fun, funky, fresh. So these are just some random books as well. Let me highlight a few. Um, On the Road I read this summer and I'll talk a little bit more about at another time. Um, oh, Barack Obama Dreams from My Father. Maybe this is a un an unpopular opinion, but this was one of his first books and honestly, I enjoyed it more than, what's the other one called? 
said, oh, a, a promised land. I enjoyed it a little bit more, even though this talked about his presidency. This was just like more personal, which I, I liked. And that's one of the big things I liked about becoming Michelle Obama's autobiography. So we got some great books here, as well as some awesome candles. Literally, we got some pictures of my family. And then um, this is sort of like gray and black books. Because again, well, that color. The only thing I didn't really do in color is the series in my favorite books. Um, so we have A Promised Land, which I just talked about. This book that my aunt wrote. Shout out Choices. Um, as well as another one. You can actually see a few Margaret, I don't know how many Margaret Atwood books I have. We have Dearly, which is poems, and Elias Grace, I think that's how you say it, um, which is crazy. And what was the one up here? The Heart Goes Last. Oh, that one was crazy. And then I have the Two in the Handmaid's Tale series. So I think that's all. Of she's, she's always solid. Check her out. If you haven't, <laughs> underground artist Margaret Atwood. <laughs> I don't know if I read about Gone Girl or not, or talked about it. I talked about it, I think last summer. And it was um, not what I expected. After the twist happens, there's not much going on. And another, <laughs> another little women book. I'm ruining this. Um, on life, death, and little women, the March sisters. This was a cute little book, talking about the different March sisters and the things that you learn in. The right, that's all, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and coming and checking out my bookshelf with me. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any book recommendations, ways to organize books, or any of the other things I talked about early in this video, comment down below or reach out to me on my email photo at scaddistrict.com um, and make sure to check out all my book reviews coming out this fall at scaddistrict.com um so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time but until then i'm booked